So mix it all, the, mix that cream all the way through. Ah, oh, look at that. Mmm, that's good. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to use um, this recipe of pumpkin cream from um, the page Hangry Woman. Um, I like her, she's really sweet. She does a lot of like low carb and uh, you know, uh, I guess like keto type recipes, sugar free recipes, all kinds of sugar free, all kinds of low carb and sugar free um, recipes. Check her out. I put her name, I put her information in the description box below. Okay, so I wanted to especially um, do this recipe because you know how you gotta do if you use pumpkin for anything and you had usually use that can of pumpkin puree. I'm sorry, I don't have any on me now, but I have some in my video that I did for the pumpkin spice latte or the demonstration of the can. But anyway, so not pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie has uh, the sugar in it, pumpkin puree or 100% pumpkin. Anyway, you have that can and it's like, what do you do with the rest of all this pumpkin? So guess what I did? I froze it. Cause I didn't want to waste my pumpkin. I had got the big fat can. So I just wanted to show that you can freeze the pumpkin and still kind of thaw it out and use it. And it does work. It does not mess up the recipe. So I just thought I'd put that little tidbit in there that you could use that extra. So this, I'm doing this just to show that you can use, if you use your pumpkin for anything, coffee, desserts or whatever, you have extra pumpkin puree, you can freeze it. So is this, I left it looking like this, just so I can show you to just kind of stir it up. That's all you have to do, kind of stir it and mash it up. This is just from it, just thawing out. And if there's a whole bunch of excess water in there, you can pour some of that little water, you can pour some, drain some of the water out if you want and just kind of mash it and stir it up. Okay, and it works just fine. It does, trust me, I've tried it already, it's good. Okay, <laughs> so, so how much of this pumpkin puree? All I need is one tablespoon of this pumpkin puree. Okay, so I'll go ahead and get a tablespoon. I'm just gonna put it in here so I can. She did a heaping for her, so I'm just gonna do a little more. And I, I want a strong pumpkin taste in mine, so. My cream. So after that, I need three ounces of heavy cream. Oh, oh well. I put a little bit more, that's all right. It won't hurt nothing, I had to put a little extra pumpkin in there anyway. A half a teaspoon of pumpkin spice. And a half an ounce of sugar-free vanilla syrup. of coffee actually I use let me show you what I'm using so you can either brew some coffee and have some ready or I have some cold brew here um, that uh, that I use from a recipe but um, she had some like pumpkin pods she said that was really good so if you were if you have like pods that are um, flavored you can, you can do those too that's probably really good with this with this recipe so okay but before I pour my coffee, let me blend up 
my cream mixture. Okay, here we go with this thing. All right. Don't start no stuff on me now. Don't mess with me today. A little froth bang. A little hand blender froth coffee bang, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Oh, it thickens it up really nicely. You can just see all the specks of goodness going on through. So with this one, you don't need a blender or anything like that. This is enough. So that's cool. Okay. I think that's pretty good. Look how thick thickened up pretty good there. Look how that thickened up. Okay. I hope I don't have a tooth thick, tooth thick, anyway. You know, it just dawned on me. <laughs> you probably don't wanna uh, use the blender little, little hand. You don't wanna use the little hand blender too long. It just dawned on me, oh, this is heavy cream. It will thicken up like, this is how you make with cream. So um, you may not want it too thick, just like uh, maybe like the consistency of a, a thicker coffee cream maybe or something like that. Okay. Anyway, now let's pour our coffee. Remember, eight ounces of it. Okay. All right. In the moment of truth, the peace, the res, the resistance. What do you, you call it? What the, the peace, the resistance, resistance. How you say it? The, the piece of resistance. Okay. So the moment of truth. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this cream in here. Hopefully I didn't get it too thick. Let me just hold it up so everybody can see it. This is gonna sit on top. that just sits on top there. Ah, oh, I can't wait to try it. I'm kind of mix it in a little bit. Oh, you see that? Ah, uh, let me see. That's good. That's good. So, you can, I'm sure you can just kind of like sweeten it to taste, however, um, if you wanted to add, cause it's really just, this just really makes the pumpkin cream. But if you wanted to add sweetener, you know, to like your coffee part, or just add sweetener period to make it a little bit more sweet. Um, cause it is on the less sweet, sweeter side. So mix it all, the, I'm gonna mix that cream all the way through. Ah, oh, look at that. Mmm, that's good. So you have a refreshing ice, what would you call it? What she called this? I think she said pumpkin cream, ice brew, cold brew. Yeah, so we got a pumpkin cream cold brew, y'all. It's good. Mmm, you should try it. It's really good. Especially when you get it all mixed all the way in. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. That's good. All right. So until next time.
Thank you for watching. If you like this recipe, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. All right? Bye, y'all. Okay, if you like this recipe, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Appreciate it. So I need, all I need is one tablespoon of this pumpkin puree. I'm gonna put it. Shit, I gotta start over. <laughs> Somebody fired. I just wanted to try out this uh, coffee cold brew recipe for the pumpkin cream. So um, I just want, I wanted to, um, so I, so to, to, today I'm trying out the pumpkin uh, cream. Uh, what is it called? Did I delete that first one? I don't know. Anyway. Let me make sure. <laughs> Doesn't have enough sweetener in it. Oh. It's mixing in. I'm at the car. Oh. I'm done. Hopefully I can salvage something out of that.